Hello, welcome to TechWeb Dots. This is part 8 of Blazor App Tutorial series, and in this part, we will discuss Blazor component with parameters. So, let us start without wasting time. So, in this session, we will discuss in detail how to pass parameter to a Blazor component. Basic requirements we need Visual Studio 2019. Download link is given in description. And what we need to consider, you know, while installing uh, Visual Studio 2019, ASP.NET and Web Development Workloads should be selected there. Okay. And .NET Core 3.0 SDK. And basic knowledge of ASP.NET Core C Sharp HTML is required. And I strongly suggest you to watch the videos. Create first Blazor app, Blazor app structure, and ASP.NET Core Razor component before proceeding. Okay. So we know a Blazor server model works on Blazor server template. So we know Blazor server model uh, requires Signal R connection to communicate between client and server. Okay. So we will start with the studio and create new application blazor app application i'm just uh, showing these steps quickly so just to remind you okay i strongly recommend you watch the previous videos and uh, select the blazor server app not web assembly and create let's switch to code so we are using the same solution that we were using in our previous video okay so this is the first application which is on web server template and there's another application which is on my first blazor web assembly application okay so in this application we will discuss counter component for the interest of time i have made changes that i am going to explain okay so you can see for passing parameter in component what we will do we will just create a public property with parameter attribute okay this is the very first thing that we need to do you can see here which is parameter attribute and this is a public property add number and I am assigning this to 1 or you can say initializing this to 1 okay and in definition of this method what I am doing in current count I am adding this property okay so whatever the value will be passed to this counter component that will be added to current component and that will be displayed in current component okay so as you can see there's a page directive and after that there is a counter root okay it means this counter component can handle all the routes which comes to counter okay and this counter component is also available for the other components as well okay if we will not use this counter root here at the top with page then it will not be able to serve any request okay but it will be available to other components and that can use it internally okay so to handle the route which comes to counter so this counter should be added at the top in this blazor component okay so let's have a look in an action and, and one more thing we also uh, okay this is the definition of uh, that i mean we are specifying the parameter but we will call it through index component okay so let me open the index user component so we are using this component in index user component so when our application will, will be launched so we will see this counter component on our index page we are calling the counter component and we are using that parameter name as an attribute okay and passing its value to 11 okay as you can see the moment we are hover on this counter it is showing it is available in pages folder of my solution okay so let's have a look in action so we can see our index component is loaded and with the hello world message the moment i will click on click me okay it is increasing right so you can see it is working like charm i hope you like this video if you have any question please leave a comment i will reply on that as soon as possible 
and my next video will be on a split complex pleasure component okay so stay tuned for that thanks for watching have a good day